Jumps to action as a medium class with a wall hack build. Yes, wall hacks through the recon sensors, Cerner grenade alongside the rest of the kit being AKM, gas mines, and defib. This will be a fun time. Let's jump to action in the finals and have a bit of fun here, as we usually do. But the goal for this build is pretty much gain as much intel as you can so you can make the right plays when it matters. But in this case, we've lost the member. I don't know why, but we've lost the member. So this is going to be a bit of a hard one. If we win this, that'll be a big shock. Especially with two minion classes, but there's an opportunity for anything. I know it's just 10 times more difficult in a situation like this. So it's the ball over there. Ready, set, chase that cash, just like Scotty said. Keep going. He's trying to bunny hop. It doesn't work as much. One kill, nice. Right there as well. Turn a grenade. That triple kill on screen is disgusting. Oh my god, Wolax. I can't see his thing. It's underneath the ground. It's underneath the ground. I can't help him. Well, that's... A long awaited return to the arena for the tough shells. Can't get him. I can't get him. He's actually stuck in the ground. I'm waiting for him to respawn. Close by. Nice. Everyone else has five respawns. Do we go for kills here? Is that the goal? I hear him. No, the sword guy got me. No, dude, that was unfortunate. A good start. But aim, oh my. <laughs> Whether aim's good or aim bad. <laughs> my aim's pretty good, no? I'm pretty chill with it. You got this well thirsty? Thank you, thank you. I shall try. I shall try my heart out with this. No matter what. All it comes down to is holding down the control points. I know there's some mechanics as well with the vault. If you hold the vault and you don't actually insert it to a cash out, the respawns of any team are actually further apart. So they're actually not as close to the cash out as you may think. They have a fast spawn. But up close, if you put the cash out in, they'll have a closer spawn. So if you put the vault into the cash out, they end up being closer in their spawns. So they're able to, you know, jump into the action as, quick, as quickly as possible. So knowing little things like that does help you drastically. Wall hacks here. I, oh my god, that far too? That's crazy how strong that is. Look, I can see everybody on the map. I have no clue what happened there. Did that ask me? Give me out of that one. The tough shells will need to come back from that wipeout. They tried to clam up the competition, but ended up getting shocked. My thoughts Wait, the vault's over here. I didn't get this. <laughs> what is everybody doing? The tough shells are back on the scene. Was that glitch? That was a uh, frag. No, 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 no! That's so unfortunate. Does it get the kill though? My gas mine activated because of the shot. The shot of the grenade activated. Oh, someone's dead by the way. What is this? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, that is insane. He shot me, but the uh, one of his actual pellets went through and hit the gas grenade. Or gas mine, sorry. And got me killed with my own gas. So lucky. I still was going to die there either way. This is the weirdest game of cash I've ever seen. You know, like, literally no one's cashing out. Everyone's holding the vault, the vault locations. But my build's going crazy. I'm happy about it. Their team's going there. We've got a loose person over there as well. Let's chuck a Sona grenade for my teammate so he gets wall hacks free as well. They go wall hacks. Still around here.
Getting smoked, wall hacks. Someone's hiding right behind that, that barricade, I think. Close by at least. I melted him. That gas grenade got me killed. That gas grenade got me killed. Well done. I had no chance. Gas into uh, grenade, there was no chance. Absolutely no chance. What did I choose? I went for a Sonic Grenade build alongside Recon Sensors, AKM. Uh, uh, shit, what are the other things? Defib and something else. And Gas Man, there we go. That was the last one. That's my build. It's a wall hack build, essentially. I gain information as much as possible. Throughout the match, I can use that for my leverage. No, he's invisible! You gotta reload, buddy. No, one HP! One HP, and they're gonna get the res. Come on, teammate. I I kill him. Try kill him. Do something, teammate. Come on. Oh, no. You're the reason I'm dying. Isn't he? Yeah, he's the reason I died last time. It was his gas mines activated. <laughs> well done, well done. Oh, God. Okay, let's get back into it. We're not going to get this cash out. But let's get some kills here. And have fun with this actual build, because it's a lot of fun, as you see. It shines quite a lot. Wax, someone's above us. Someone's running. You realize? The kingfish are tapping into. He doesn't have a cloak. He Harmset has um. Uh, vase dash. I see he's over there now. I'm by myself, my teammate's even live still. Or did he quit? Did my teammate quit? I'm by myself. Well, this is be a new puzzle. But I love a challenge. I definitely love a challenge. Go dead, buddy. That's how you outplay them. That's how much how you play, outplay. Wallax. Chuck a stone and grenade as well. Try to break the zip lines. Fell off the map. Soul? No, the gas mines. The gas mines activate? Please tell me the gas mines activated. I try my very best. I got the steel though. It's kind of disgusting. Gas mines have activated. Pyro's activated. Goo's activated. Uh, smoke canceled the uh, effect. Oh shit, but Pyro's still there. Still a chance, still a chance. I still have the cash out. Yeah, my mouse keyboard. Yes, I am. As always, my fair way of playing the game. The competition is getting fierce. I nearly had it. I nearly had it. I could have killed him, but I didn't think it would matter. But I should have actually killed him. Cause then we don't have to one v one the heavy. I am doing so well with this build as a solo player. Like, I'm putting up a great fight. Look, I have the most kills in the game. 18 kills in the game. Where everybody else has like 10. 
Oh, actually, underneath 10. 5 and 4. So I'm actually smoking the enemy team single-handedly with no one else on my team. Ah, oh, damn. Damn. I did my very best, though. As a solo player, I think that's exceptional. So the wall hacks, as you see there, even being a solo with no one else helping me, gave me enough information to understand where people were rotating to, where they're positioning, and utilizing that information to get some kills going for myself. As an individual player, that's very strong. But then also match it up with a team now that's actually there and uh, very uh, prominent with their own gameplay and being very effective, you could end up winning majority of your games quite easily. Because you're able to give that information to yourself as an individual and also share that information between other members you've got comms as well. Makes it much easier to understand what the hell is going on and where to expect the enemies coming from. And then from there, jump those targets and kill them before going to the cash out or even during cash out phase or whatever game mode you're playing in the finals. But that was a lot of fun to highlight the wall hack build in this game. This is legal wall hacks, not illegal, no cheating allowed. This is just legit wall hacks in the game that you can have. That was a lot of fun. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, join our Discord, code Lordia, game subs, for 10% off, and also btlmerch.com. Joe Sport, greatly appreciated.